resettled Mars over a century ago. Making this dusty rock our home wasn't easy, but the promise that led us across the void was freedom, something my family's bled for many times. For generations, we Masons have fought for the Red Faction. Many were heroes, but heroes have enemies. If you're familiar with the Red Faction series, then you know Mars is a dangerous place where the regimes are oppressive and the building codes are lax. In Red Faction Armageddon, alien infestation takes the place of populist uprising, as the series takes on a new tone and a new structure. This third-person shooter may tell an unremarkable tale and lack the set-piece excitement of many of its peers, but there are two things that take this solid game and make it a great one. Destructibility and the Magnet Gun. Blasting your way through hordes of aliens and wreaking merry havoc on the overrun human infrastructure is an entertaining endeavor, and wielding the ingenious and versatile Magnet Gun is an absolute delight. If you like explosions that actually blow things up, and games that encourage you to creatively dispatch your enemies, then Red Faction Armageddon offers an exciting Martian excursion. Now, though Armageddon takes place in the same world as its predecessors, it doesn't exactly pick up where Red Faction Guerrilla left off. There are references and connections to the events of previous games, but soon after you begin the campaign, it becomes a standard story of, Oh my god, the aliens have come! Kill or be killed! Intermittent cutscenes chronicle things going from bad to worse, but the Masons are men of action, not words, and the tale told in Armageddon doesn't add much to the experience. Fortunately, the gameplay carries the Red Faction standard well. As you progress through the campaign, you unlock an impressive arsenal of weapons that lets you dish out a delightful smorgasbord of death. The few traditional guns like the assault rifle and shotgun aren't very glamorous, but they definitely pack a punch. More explosive weapons like the plasma cannon and the remote charge launcher let you take advantage of the fact that almost every man-made structure in the game can be destroyed. So, you could pick off those rebels in that three-story building one by one, or you could just blow a three-story hole in the building. Sergeant! Sergeant, it's Mason! Other weapons let you vaporize, detonate, and otherwise blow up structures that hide your enemies, or just take out large groups of the chittering horrors that regularly assault you. This infuses the action with a great sense of power that is further augmented by your suite of nanoforge abilities. These technologies are sufficiently advanced enough to be indistinguishable from magic, but when you hurl all nearby enemies into a floating stasis field and start shotgunning them like so many clay pigeons, all you'll be worrying about is when you can do that again. There's also a forceful push, a protective shield, and a powered up berserk mode to fool around with, as well as the immensely helpful ability to repair structures. Yes, repairing may be a strange concept in a Red Faction game, but reconstructing destroyed cover can be a lifesaver, and just because you need to cross that walkway later shouldn't stop you from destroying it and the enemies on top of it now. This ability lets you blow things up with impunity, which is helpful because Red Faction Armageddon is a linear game that takes place mostly underground. This means there's a finite number of things to destroy, and you may find yourself itching for more opportunities to wreak havoc. Enter the Magnet Gun. This little baby shoots two magnets, one anchor and one attractor. As soon as a second shot lands, the magnetic force kicks in and things collide in very satisfying ways. Enemy getting too close? Tag him and the ceiling and watch him fly upwards. Enemy too far away? Tag him and the ground in front of you and think, get over here. Some monstrosity giving you trouble? Tag that building and then him, and watch the debris descend on him like a murderous flock of birds. These are just some of the myriad ways that this simple gun turns fighting aliens into a creative exercise. Unlimited ammo means you can always put it to use, and the area of effect magnetic pole means your plan may take an unexpected destructive turn. Wielding the magnet gun turns another predictable enemy encounter into a physics-fueled playground and bringing a pillar down on an unsuspecting enemy's head will make you cackle with glee even if you've done it a dozen times before. The campaign offers about eight hours worth of destructive experimentation. Then there's Infestation, a four-player online cooperative survival mode that provides plenty of ways to continue causing chaos. 
Depending on your settings and the number of people you play with, Infestation can be a reasonably challenging romp or a grueling test of skill. Ruin Mode offers even more kindling to fuel your destructive desires, with a few different arenas for unlimited single-player demolition. You can strive to earn a spot on the online leaderboards, but if you buy the game used, be warned that you'll need to purchase an unlock code for Ruin Mode in order to get anything more than a short demo. Red Faction Armageddon may not offer the destructive freedom of its open-world predecessor, but don't let the linear campaign and enclosed environments fool you. Thanks to an enjoyably powerful arsenal and remarkably thorough destructibility, there's a lot of fun to be had in this alien-annihilating adventure. The campaign and infestation mode offer a good amount of content, but the best reason to play this game is the Magnet Gun. It's one of the most powerful, inspiring, and downright hilarious gameplay mechanics to come along in a while, and it makes Red Faction Armageddon immensely appealing. No, you stick with the ambulance. I can handle myself. You say so. How is that going to be any safer? 